Hello, church. It's Pastor Lisa coming to you at the end of this week and praying and hoping that this message finds you well. I just want to be able to, as best I can in person, share a few words about what's happening this weekend and what's coming up in the week ahead. And so I invite you to worship once again at 10 o'clock on Sunday. We may not be able to meet in person, but we know that we gathered well last Sunday uh, virtually through Facebook and Zoom. And once again, you'll have all three ways to join us for worship. Uh, please note that if you are not a member of Facebook, you can still find us on Facebook uh, for Facebook Live via the church's Facebook page. Um, we'll also be sharing all the important information on how to connect via Zoom, whether through just calling in or through videoing. So watch for that. And then also, we're using Zoom more as a source of connection. We know that we can make phone calls, we know we can send notes, and all of those are really great and personal things to do. But what, what a beautiful tool we have with Zoom to be able to gather more of us together and to continue our connection and continue to be church and brothers and sisters together. And so I want and hope that if this new technology has felt a little intimidating, that you might still give it a try. And we have uh, instructions in our e-message today uh, that I hope you will find helpful. But also know I am very happy to just be a voice to walk you through it if that would make you more comfortable. But just know that we're starting to use this. Uh, this week alone, I've met with the youth confirmation. I've had a gathering with the children, which was really a lot of fun, and we're going to keep those things up. Uh, but like I've done sip and chat at Starbucks, I'm going to begin hosting Zoom and chat. And so on Thursdays from 1.30 to 3, you can find me on Zoom. You can join me anytime during that time uh, for a time to share, to reflect, perhaps even pray together. And hopefully if more people join us, then we'll be able to have kind of a group conversation. So I hope you'll join me for Zoom and chat. And then also know there's already a small group using Zoom, and we're anticipating a new small group uh, starting on Wednesdays. And so watch for more information about that, because that should be something other adults can join. And then parents have asked for a check-in time. And so on Sunday at four o'clock, there's information about a parent check-in time, which will be just a chance for us to connect, to be encouraged, because we're definitely needing that and to share ideas and resources uh, while we try to engage and support our kiddos during this time. So friends, we know that our in-person worship services um, are canceled until I'm saying further notice. We are following the, the restrictions that Governor Northam has set for the state, uh, but we just don't know if it will get extended beyond the 30 days that it has been set for now. And so we anticipate and are preparing for all that may lie ahead. We continue to seek ways that we can stay connected to be the church, to continue to grow as disciples together, even if we can't be in one another's presence. So please know I continue to pray for you. I'm going to miss, I, I miss terribly getting to see you all already, but I'm especially going to miss being able to celebrate uh, Easter with you all in person. But we have plans for Holy Week and we have plans for Easter. And then we can anticipate and look forward to celebrating our resurrection when we are all able to be back together in the sanctuary again. But friends, let us use this time as a gift from God to perhaps experience things in a new way to continue to be still and spend time in relationship and in devotion with God and to continue to connect with one another. So for now, hopefully until I see you on Sunday morning, uh, may you be blessed, may you be at peace, and please know that I am here if there's anything you need. Take care. <music>